up? This is Paleo 101 here, and right now I'm in Kentucky, Eastern Kentucky. I'm looking at a rock formation called the Coke Formation. We were here uh, early on, but here we are at a really good section of this outcrop here. And what we're finding are fossils from the late Ordovician period, so roughly around uh, 450 million years old. And we're actually right here behind a random building. <laughs> and the distant past is literally right here. Um, all of these rocks represent um, transgressions, or what we call sea level rise, um, within the ocean. And we're finding a whole bunch of marine fossils. Um, trilobites, um, brachiopods, polysopods, um, and, and crinoids, and even graptolites. We're finding a whole bunch of the ancient sea community that used to be here um, over 450 million years ago. So we'll go out and we'll walk right here, we can actually see this incredible stretch of rock from this time period, um, what we call the Ordovician, and specifically the later Ordovician. Um, these rocks stretch for miles and miles and miles within Kentucky, Ohio, Indiana, and um, Ohio, and other places around this area. Um, there is just so much to be found here. Um, I mean, these rocks stretch, again, like I said, for hundreds of thousands of miles. And this is just one outcrop out of many um, that represents the ancient ocean floor um, that was pushed up due to plate tectonics over 400 million years ago. And so right now, we're in a rock unit, or we're in a rock series called the Cincinnati Series. And that just represents a stretch of rock that was deposited during a specific time within the World of Vision. And it represents um, cycles of events, storm, storm events, um, uh, specific depositional events that have occurred here. And so these blocky chunks here are limestone chunks. And then we've got the silty layer, which is a uh, shale and siltstone that was being deposited during this time. And so, I mean, these rocks are absolutely filled with fossils. Every rock that you turn over likely has, or likely does, have marine fossils, everything from trilobites, primates, um, pieces of cephalopods, bryozoans, anything that that would be considered to be marine, um, most likely found here. Unfortunately, we don't have fish. Um, the Cincinnati series is, or the Cincinnati series, is a famous place called the Sea Without Fish because we don't have fish up within these rocks. But we have mostly invertebrate marine animals that were that are living within the sea community. So. Um, I just wanted to say hello, um, and that um, I'll be back in Georgia really soon, kind of talking about what we discovered here in Kentucky and Indiana and Ohio. Um, the Society of Vertebrate Paleontology Conference is over, and so now I'm just out here with the last day that I've got here in Kentucky, um, looking at an incredible array of rocks from this time period. And so this is Paleo 101, and I will see you guys later uh, back in Georgia.